Hello from New Zealand. I'm Nikki from Duvet Domes. If you're like me and hate the way that your duvet inner slides around and bunches up inside the cover all night, then Duvet Domes are the right product for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach your duvet domes properly so you can get a better night's sleep and then make your bed in a snap. Let's dive in. To attach your duvet domes successfully, you're going to need the following. An iron and a hard surface. Plug your iron in and turn the temperature setting down to wool or medium. If your iron has a steam function, please turn this off. Steam is not good for duvet domes. Next, you're going to need the packet of duvet domes. Please ensure there are 24 pieces, eight pink and 16 white. You'll also need some sewing pins, at least eight. Your clean duvet or comforter. And lastly, your clean duvet cover. The first step is to split your duvet domes up into three piles. One pile of pink ones, there are eight, and two piles of white ones, eight in each pile. Pop the second pile of white duvet domes away for another cover. Next, take your comforter or duvet inner and spread it out on the ground. Then identify the head, toe and edges. Now place the pink duvet dome with the logo on it, shiny side down, in the centre of the head. You can pin this in place approximately one centimetre or half an inch down from the top. Now take another duvet dome and place it shiny side down in the corner. Pin this in place around one centimetre or half an inch from each edge. Repeat this process for the remaining three corners of your duvet. Now you need to identify the centre of each long edge. You can do this more accurately with a tailor's tape or tape measure, but don't worry if you don't have those things. Simply fold your duvet in half, pinch in the centre, then unfold again, keeping your fingers in place. Once you've located the centre of the long edge, Take another duvet dome and place it shiny side down at least one centimetre or half an inch from the edge and pin in place. Repeat this process on the opposite edge of the duvet. Finally, place your last pink duvet dome in the centre of the foot of the duvet. Don't forget to place the shiny side down and pin the patch at least one centimetre or half an inch from the bottom seam. Once you have correctly positioned all of the pink duvet domes onto the comforter or duvet, it's time to iron them into place. Remove the pin and avoiding the plastic dome as much as possible, hold the iron down on top of the duvet dome for between 5 and 15 seconds. Move the iron around the duvet dome until the whole patch is fully adhered. Repeat this process until all pink duvet domes are firmly attached to the duvet. Now it's time to place the white duvet domes on the inside of your duvet cover. If your duvet cover has a distinctive face and back, be sure to attach the white duvet domes to the inside of the back of the cover. Turn your duvet cover inside out and lay it flat down on the ground with the back facing up. Make sure that all of the corners are fully exposed. Using the same method we used to place the pink duvet domes on the duvet, Place the white duvet domes on the inside of the cover. Once you've correctly positioned all of the white duvet domes onto the duvet cover, it's a good idea to lay the cover down beside the inner to make sure that the domes are correctly positioned. If any of the white duvet domes aren't quite right, simply unpin and reposition. Once you're satisfied that all of the white duvet domes are in the right locations, it's time to iron them into place. Now that all of your duvet domes are on and in the right spot, drag your duvet cover across the duvet and line all of the duvet domes up together. Work around the outside of the duvet, snapping all of the duvet domes together. Remember how we attach the pink duvet dome with the logo at the top of the duvet? Well, guess what? You'll never have to worry which way is the right way round again. Slide your hands inside the duvet and grab hold of the two top corners. Pull towards you and shake it out. Tuck in the corners and it's as simple as that. 